How much gas you got? Somebody's ready for a fist check. I trust my wife. I trust my wife. Famous last words. Never trust a woman or a government. Women rarely get held accountable for their poor decisions. Men do, though. Men have to live in reality. Women are afforded the privilege of living being delusional. So when a guy criticizes a woman, oh my god, right? If you don't believe me, think about it. If a dude's fat, we just call him fat. You're a loser, huh? If a woman's fat, Love your curves, girl. You go. She's rude and obnoxious. Oh, you know what? They just can't handle you. You're strong and independent. Fierce. We have all these terms to cover up female inadequacies, but we don't have these same terms for men. Yeah, guys, and I got to say, you know, the main issue with letting the women skate accountability and stuff is they never grow. They never become the best person they could possibly be. And that can also go for us, you know. Sometimes you need that tough love for someone to tell you exactly what's going on. And if you're fat, you should probably know and not be encouraged to keep going on with it. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen lips fuller than that. Might want to get that checked out. Hi guys, so I'm going to a barbecue. You sure you're not coming back from one? Dear God, I'm so sorry. But that was too easy. The difference between your job and your wife. What? After five years, your job still sucks. Oh! How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? $200,000. Bitch, please. 200,000. How tall does he but need like, to be? Uh, like, okay. Six foot minimum. No. Whoa, 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 six hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a pause. You're like 5'2. I'm like 5'1, actually. Six foot minimum because it's just hot that way. <laughs> Women. Okay. I'm going like 6'3 minimum. I'm 5'7. Okay, I need to be able to wear heels. Like, I, I'm not worried about my shoe choice because of my husband. Like, I need to be able to confidently be under your height and wear whatever shoes I want. Valid. And the funniest part is they think they got real choices out here, right? The only six foot three dude that's fucking with this chick is pumping and dumping. Ain't no doubt about it. No need to ask. He's a smooth operator. Here's the thing, since we are a travel show, we just need to leave them with this. Let's just tell them about your state. What can they expect to find if they come to your state? <laughs> they come to Oregon? Yeah. <laughs> this is a laugh. It's a beautiful place. If you come to Oregon, you can find a lot of natural beauty and a lot of drunk loose bitches. Well, say no more. I'm on the first thing smoking, baby. <laughs> I went in. And I bent down and I petted him. And all of a sudden, you hear this like that. So the trainer says, get up very slowly and back up. So the tiger did. He slowly got up and backed out. <laughs> Fucking Chuck Norris. The, the men actually are bringing more to the table than women these days. But the problem is women have an inflated sense of ego, thinking we're more important and more special than we are. Ding, ding, ding! Because we got these these jobs that I'm are pretty much... More beautiful than they are. Yeah. Can I say, and though? And so, wait, wait. So, so men, 45% of men do a job that runs society. That means they, they drive the trucks, they drive the buses, they build the buildings. So, half of men have a job that runs the infrastructure of society that's an important job okay so there there's pro provisioning right protection the average guy is stronger than the average woman the average woman is more promiscuous than the average man the average woman is fatter than the average man the average woman is the same age so she's not even younger than the average guy yeah what's insane is what they call the average woman that's so below average in my standards won't even take an average guy not even close and we've seen them plenty of times on this show where the average chick wants the six-figure ring and the six-figure income and all this BS. It's because their friends inflated their ego to an incra a crazy-ass level and they disrespect the real work men are doing every single day. 
man, it's so bad. It's hard to really want to be around anyone that would act like that or has that sort of ideology. So I told Stephanie, I was like, maybe you should take care of them. And she was like, they're not in my section. And I was like, what do you mean they're not in your section? Mm -hmm. That's where your section starts. What? I know. And I was like, I'm not about to fight with you over some guests. That's a pretty good idea. Naval said, if you can't be happy with a coffee, you won't be happy with a yacht. Stop playing fetch with your happiness. Enjoy yourself. Right here, right now. I like these short little messages this guy puts together, you know? That's how life is, man. You gotta learn how to have fun every second of the day. It's all waiting just for you to make the decision. Men are only loved for how useful we are. The second you stop being useful as a man, you'll see how cruel this world is. When nobody looks at you and goes, this man has a utility. This man is good for X. This man can solve this problem. The second you become a useless man, you'll see how cold and heartless this world is. Nobody gives a solitary fuck about men who can't fix problems. It's true. That's why we exist. So unconditional love does not exist for men. It never has been, it never will. Well, that's the absolute truth, isn't it? But guys, it's an opportunity, not a burden. You know that pressure puts you in a position where you can live your life to your fullest and you know be in this competition you can't just give up and you know be useless like that's the point being useful was the point of your life which leads us to our next clip tell you that in order to be successful in life especially in this country opportunity when someone gives you the opportunity take it and run with it and now i can only imagine if i was your age and just knew what i was doing i was just telling my friend i could be homeless today right here at 18 and i, I could be the jeff bezos elon musk and bill gates combined because the opportunity is there for you to go after it people that think oh my god i'm not lucky i don't have this i wasn't given that or bullshit don't ever feel entitled and if you're a young man handsome like you don't ever think that i made it to here and this is great no set it up high and when you get there set it up higher all right guys here's one of the interesting things about opportunity is that when it first shows up in your life it often seems like a burden it seems like one more thing you have to add to your already packed up schedule right so it's very important and that that's the natural proclivity of the mind it's just the way that we feel when something comes about you really need to observe the fact that you feel kind of put off by it and say oh wait is this the opportunity could this really change like what if i really dug in right here because they're always disguised very frequently disguised so keep an eye out and when you get that feeling like oh another thing i have to do really analyze what's going on I think we all know why they like to ride. All right, y'all, let's see what I got for you today. You know, in the world of dating, especially in these days, it's really just turned into a serious problem. You know, for me, we have to resort back to the idea of reality. It's that we don't really want a relationship, but we want someone to have sex with, right? Because man, these chicks put you through hell. For me personally, I, give them, I gave a girl the world, she asked for the stars. It's like it never ended. And what was she doing for me? Not much, let me tell you. So, you know, my uncle once said that uh, granddad said um, when, we're, when they were talking about being frustrated with women that if trees had holes, we all live in the forest. Well, Jesus Christ, ain't that the truth? So, you know, I would usually encourage people to like figure out how to get with the girl and, and you know, and maintain a relationship and be with them and all this stuff but it's just not really possible anymore they have these insane crazy spending habits that they're trying to find a person that makes enough money that they can afford them so they don't have to work or do anything and they still get to do this crazy wild imaginative spending that they come up with and uh well it really hit me that if 50 percent of the people of marriages end in divorce and 25 percent of those are staying together for the kids because they don't want to split up half their shit that 75% of the marriages are actually failing. So it's like, you know, and then who's the, gets, who's the one that gets the short end of the stick on that, right? We do. So, you know, man, and, and if Dr. Dre and Jeff Bezos and all these people that are rich as hell, that could buy their girl anything they ever wanted, trips around the world and everything, and they couldn't keep these women happy either, 
what makes you think that we're going to be able to do it? So, you know, it just doesn't really seem plausible anymore. But that's all right, because all, you know, the women made sex really easy and all we need is sex. We don't actually need the relationship. We never actually wanted it in the first place. Am I right? So, you know, at the end of the day, we're still winning no matter what. You get your shit together. As long as, you know, all you really need is a little bit of money. And no matter what, everything's possible. You can still get everything that you wanted done. And you don't have to be burdened with the birthday, the anniversary, the Christmas, the fucking on and the on and on and the, oh my God, I don't like this floor anymore, so you need to tear it up and fucking all this other BS that comes along with the one thing we want. It's about time we simplified our lives, fellas. All right, y'all. I always appreciate you listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we gonna see you on the next one.